Welcome to Sweet Red Poppy. I'm Kimberly. Every week I share a new crafting, sewing, or Cricut video on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe below so you don't miss out on all the fun. Today we are going to be making these adorable DIY holiday pot holder gift sets with the Cricut Explore Air 2. First off, I wanted to thank Cricut for sponsoring this video. All of the supplies I'm using in today's video can be found online at Cricut.com or in any craft store that carries Cricut supplies. When I first got my Cricut Explore Air 2, I was blown away with all the adorable crafting projects I could make. I am always looking for new ways to personalize holiday presents for my friends and my family. Now, let's go ahead and get started on our project. For this project, you will need Cricut Glitter Iron-On, Red Pot Holder that I found at the dollar store, Cricut Explore or Cricut Maker, a green standard grip mat, a Cricut Easy Press or an iron, a weeding tool, an SVG file, a cookie mix, and a spatula and whisk. I've linked to all of the materials that I'm using in the description below. To get started on your project, go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space. For this project, we are going to be using a few different Christmas files that I've linked in the description. You can also use a few of Cricut's Design Space images. Just use the search bar to find a few sayings that you like. I love using Cricut's Design Space images since they are super easy to use and they're always so cute. I'm going to be making these five designs, but feel free to make whatever designs you like. In order to get the right size for each of my designs, I'm going to measure my pot holder and create a rectangle the same size as the pot holder for reference. Click on Shapes, select Square, Unlock. This allows me to input my exact dimensions. My pot holder is 7.25 by 5.5 inches, so I'm going to type that right in here. Now I'm going to use this to make sure each of my designs is sized correctly. Once I have everything sized, I'm going to delete the rectangle. Once you have your design ready, click Make It in the top right hand corner to view the preview screen. Be sure that you mirror your image. That way it's cut the right way for iron on. If you don't do this, your image will be backwards when you iron it onto your pot holder. So before you cut, double check and make sure it's mirrored. After clicking continue, the screen prompts you to select the material that you will be using. For this project, I'm using a glitter iron on. Place your iron on vinyl shiny side down on your green mat. Make sure that your Cricut is loaded with a fine point blade. Next, insert your mat into either your Cricut Maker or your Explore machine. Press the blinking Cricut C button and your Cricut will start cutting. Once it's finished, press the arrow button to release your Cricut mat. Now that my cut has finished, it's time to start weeding my project. I'm going to be removing all of the vinyl that I do not want to transfer to my project. But first, I'll be using my Cricut True Control Knife just to carefully cut away the material that I didn't cut. I really like to save all of my material and have as little waste as possible. Flip over your design to make sure everything looks perfect. Now is the perfect time to see if you weeded everything correctly. Now that our design is ready to go, it's time to heat up either your Easy Press or your iron. I like to use Cricut's Easy Press because it has a large surface area, heats up to an exact temperature, and I know that it has a timer so I won't mess up my projects. If you're using an iron, set it to high heat with zero steam and make sure that your water basin is completely empty. Otherwise, the steam could ruin your vinyl transfer. For this project, we are going to be heating the Easy Press to 315 degrees and pressing for about 30 seconds. Go ahead and preheat your pot holder. Preheating it will remove any moisture, it also flattens it and ensures that it's completely ready for your iron on application. Next, you're going to place your decal sticky side down. Once you're happy with its placement, press your design. Once your Easy Press is positioned, click the C to start the timer. Once you have been pressing for 30 seconds, your Easy Press will beep to let you know that it is done. 
Go ahead and let this cool down for just a few seconds before peeling that backing off. It should be warm to the touch, but not hot. When your design is ready to be peeled, slowly peel it away from the pot holder at a 45 degree angle. I like to start peeling from the corner of my design. As you begin peeling, be sure to check to see if your design has completely transferred. Now we have this cute pot holder. I'm going to go ahead and fill mine with this spatula and a whisk that I got from the dollar store as well as a little chocolate chip cookie mix. Are you getting a Cricut machine for the holidays this year? Check out some of the machines in my links below to this video. It was just four years ago that my sweet friend Megan from the blog Jolly and Happy let me borrow her Explore Air 2 machine. Fall 2016 was the first time that I made a Halloween banner and a spider web printable. Little did I know that that would just be the beginning of my Cricut machine journey. I can't wait for some of you to join me in learning all about your incredible machines. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sweet Red Poppy today and making this DIY holiday pot holder gift set with me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to our Sweet Red Poppy channel. Follow along on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.